What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's lesson, we are going to talk about the file management using the deal package. For file management, uh, we will cover file upload and file download. So in this lesson, we will first uh, demonstrate how you can upload your file to a server using this deal package. We will use Node.js to implement a very simple backend to handle the upload request from our frontend. Don't worry too much about the Node.js part because it's quite uh, straightforward. I make it simple and I will give an uh, explanation how I achieve uh, to handle the request from a frontend. And we will incorporate with the DO package to sending these uh, requests to upload the file to our server. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to reach out to my channel page and you will find a lot of Flutter tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, some of my content and open a notification so you won't miss out uh, the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's get started. We will use image as the example to demonstrate how to upload the file to the server. And the package we are using in Flutter is called image picker. So let's look into this image picker. And the image picker is a, a plugin that you can use in Flutter to pick in the image from the image library, such as your uh, photo gallery or from your camera. But before we can use this uh, image picker for our project, there are some steps we need to do. So first is open this uh, pub specim YAML file as a dependence. So let's uh, go back to our uh, project. So let's open this pub specim YAML file. Uh, the first step is you add this dependence uh, under the dependence tag as shown here. And the next step is a configure for the iOS part. And as I show you, we gonna add some key and string in our info lib under this iOS folder. So in our uh, project, uh, let's open this iOS folder, uh, click this runner. Uh, inside this runner, you will find this uh, info list. So scroll down, uh, you'll see those three keys we're going to add in our project. The first one is NS Photo Library Usage Description. And we're going to add this key and we add a an, uh, description string. So this can be anything. So here I just put pick image from the photo library. Another key we need to add here is uh, NS Camera Usage Description. Uh, it's the same as the first one. We another description string so the last one is ns microphone usage description we also add a description for this key and this is all you need to do for the ios part so close this ios folder and for android part you're going to check if uh, your uh, api is uh, small and uh, 29 if you are small than 29 you're going to config inside your android manifest to give the permission if you are uh, greater than uh, 29 you don't need to do this step so let's open our project under this android folder we're going to open this app folder source folder and main folder we will find this android manifest so you're going to add this configure under this application tag so you will write request legacy external storage and you're going to make it true this is what you're going to do in, in android part uh, as long as you have uh, the api less than 29 okay uh, that's the basic requirement you need to do uh, for use these image picker so the next part is build our front-end side using the Flutter. Uh, let's open our emulation. Uh, as you see, it's very 
simple and straightforward screen contain a button and an image icon. So let's look at into this file and let's open our deal file manager uh, this class. Uh, this class it ex extends stable widget and we're going to keep track of this file and create an instance of our image picker. So let's scroll down. So first we have these colon widget and inside this center widget and also we make these uh, colon widget align center and then we will check if we contain the image if the image is uh, now we're going to display this add image icon otherwise we're going to show uh, the image so when you press this button are we going to uh, open our uh, photo gallery so inside this photo gallery are we going to using this image picker to pick image and if the source is from our image uh, gallery then we're going to set state and change our uh, image file to the file we choose and you will see the image will display on the screen so let's try this so let's pick the image from the gallery so when you press the button uh, you will give you an alert uh, ask you for the permission since I already clicked that so you won't see in my screen so here I'm going to pick the first image so after you pick the image uh, you will display on our screen because we're using these uh, stable widget uh, when I click the button for choosing the image I want, I will change the state of this image file. So you will call the set state method and you will re-render our widget and display our image. Okay, that's for our front end part. And after the image is shown, we have another button beside this image, right, which is handle our upload image request to the backend server. So that's is uh, basically everything for our front-end side so let's look into the backend so for the backend uh, we're using the Node.js and we are using this Express and the plugin we use is called Maltier and I will post the documentation for this Maltier in the description below the Maltier is a Node.js middleware for uh, handling the multi-part phone data which is primarily used for uploading the file okay and it's pretty straightforward so let's go over to it and first we import those library and we're using the express and we have these uh, post the route and we're going to check uh, the request of file if it is uh, undefined or is a no going to send a bad request uh, otherwise we're going to send a successful uh, request okay and it's pretty straightforward in order to control the uh, file the user send to the server uh, we're using this multi uh, disk storage so first we configure the part that the user image will be stored so as you see the part would, would be under uploads under the images as you see in my uh, left panel when a user update the image you will automatically uh, save under these uploads uh, images part and then we're going to change the name for the file and we're using that now and we append the original uh, file name so that's basically uh, everything for these uh, backend and back to the front end side let's see how we handle a request so let's uh, scroll down to this up upload image method so when you uh, call this upload image method so first you are going to construct the phone data using phone data flow map and you're going to pass your uh, JSON object and this part is very important 
are you going to away this uh, multi file dot from file and you append the image file because this is uh, a synchronized uh, operation so you must await for this entire process uh, complete and then you will send this message using uh, the deal.post and you append this data, phone data to uh, the deal request that's it it's pretty uh, straightforward and simple but there is one more thing you need to pay attention which is this key so as you see inside this JSON uh, our key is this image and we append our image file so back to the backend so we're going to specify the same key as we use here since we upload a single file and we will append our key which is the image so suppose I change this to a file our key in our backend should be file as well so we need to exactly match those key in the front end as well as the back end okay this very important part otherwise you cannot upload your file to the server so that's pretty much it and we can try this out in our simulator so let's press this button and as you see in our backend folder we don't have any images saved in our server so let's try this out and I'm going to click this upload button so let's press it uh, when I click this button as you see we already uh, successful upload the image to the server and I get the name of the image back so you will contains the date string and dot jpg so let's back to the backend server and you see the backend this upload folder we have these images in our backend server which is the same we choose from our uh, front end so let's choose another image so let's click pick from the gallery so we're going to uh, choose this waterfall okay so let's upload it again and back to the front end side you see we successful upload another image so as you see this one would be the image we choose from the client side which we are using a flutter okay so that's pretty much it for uh, uploading the file to your backend server uh, we're using these uh, express and this multi plugin okay that's all for today's lesson we have covered how to upload the file to backend server using the deal we will cover how to download the image from server in the coming lesson okay thanks for watching i will see you in next video